हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल यू टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स दिस इज माय सिक्सटी फर्स्ट लेक्चर इन ऑर्डर टू मेक माय चैनल सीरीज अ लिटिल बिट मोर इंटरेस्टिंग टुडे आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू डिस्कस विद यू ऑल अ क्रिटिकल केस स्टडी ऑफ ए जियो टेक्निकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन साइट द साइट वॉज ऑफ ए प्रोजेक्ट लोकेटेड इन सिटी ऑफ पूर्वांचल उत्तर प्रदेश नाउ आई हैव पुट हियर द स्टार्टिफिकेशन डिटेल्स ऑफ द थ्री बोरहोल्स विच वर एक्सप्लोर्ड एट द साइट बोरहोल वन दिस इज द आर एल ऑफ बोरहोल वन आर एल ऑफ बोरहोल टू आर एल ऑफ बोरहोल थ्री देर वॉज अ लिटिल डिफरेंस लेवल डिफरेंस अमंग्स द थ्री बोरहोल्स This difference was around 65 centimeter from this top height of borehole one, and this difference of borehole three from the top height of borehole one was 70 centimeters. Now, what we really encountered at the site, the water table in this borehole was encountered at 3.60 meter depth below ground level. In this, at 2.95 meter below ground level, and here at 2.90 meter below ground level, with Filled up being uh, filled up soil being found right from this ground level to four meter in this borehole, from ground level to four meter in this borehole, and from the here top of this borehole one to five point five zero meter below the ground level in this borehole. So what we decided, we decided that we will be measuring the n values, the standard penetration test values, and filled up soil also. So we found. In this very case, the filled up soil में हमारी जो top end value थी 1.45 meter to 1.90 meter depth के बीच में that was found out to be 8. Here it was found to be 21. Here it was found to be 4. Seven, four. After that, here it was found seven. Here it was found five. And here we found two nil standard deviation test values. So means we can interpret कि यहाँ हमारा filled up soil थोड़ा ठीक था यहां बहुत ज्यादा ठीक था मे बी इट मस्ट हैव कॉम्प्राइज ऑफ ब्रिक मोटर पीसेस एटसेट्रा एंड हियर इट वाज लूज फिल्ड अप सॉइल विच सजेस्ट कि इस साइट पे मे बी कुछ लो लाइंग साइट रही हो एंड देयर मस्ट हैव बीन सम आर्टिफिशियल बैक फिलिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट मटेरियल्स बीइंग डन एट द साइट मस्ट हैव बीन डन एट द साइट आफ्टर दैट व्हाट आई Wish to inform you all is that we met this ML clay silt plastic type soil from 5.5 to 7 meter in this borehole, from 5.5 to 8.5 meter in this borehole. But before this ML group, we encountered MI type clay silt MI type soil, medium plasticity and compressibility, from 4 meter to 5.50 meter in borehole two. In comparison to this, at the same very depth from four to five point five zero meter below ground level, here it was found silty sand SM group soil. After that, the strata was almost same. कि यहाँ seven meter से sixteen meter, eight point five zero to sixteen meter, eight point five zero to sixteen meter, we encountered MI group soil with very low standard penetration test values and values ranging from three to four or five. And after 16 meter, we encountered SMSP poorly graded sandstone mixture soil with a little bit high end values ranging from 27 to 45. All these red values are the SPT end values, the standard penetration test values being observed at the site, which have been demarcated and written down here in respective borehole locations. So now. what can we conclude from this investigation it's very difficult to come out to a real time conclusion is very difficult for this very project site n values in filled up soil were found to be ranging from nil to 21 there was high water table very low spt values were being encountered ranging from 3 to 7 right from below the filled up soil depth up to 16 meter level the soil comprising of ml mi group soil sm type soil 
and after that SMSP poorly grade sensor mixture was found with high, very high N values. Now, what are the options available with us? If we have a client ke liye investigation karne jate hain, to what can we suggest to him? Number one option, you have to think about the foundation type to be suggested. But as this site comprise of high water table, filled up soil and very low end values ranging from 3 to 7 right up to 16 meter depth below ground level. In borehole uh, 3 it was from 13.45 to 13.90 meter 4 end value. Here 16 meter pe 3 end value, 14.95 to 15.40 meter 4 end value. So it's really very difficult. So if there is no water table, if there would not have been a water table, so we could have suggested the client that you use this filled up soil and give any basement, provide here any basement. But it's not possible because whatever foundation we could have put in here just finishing after the filled up soil, it would have a still very loose influence zone. So, the second option can be to reject the site, which I think would be a very wise decision. Because this project ke liye we went for investigation was a major project. Now you decide kar sakte ho ki kya wahan temple banna tha? Kya wahan ek multi-storied building banni thi? Ya koi double triple story building banni thi? So it's really very difficult to decide. What can be done? Certain ground improvement can be done if possible. Yes. But that depends upon how costly the land was. Whether it was a viable option or not to reject the site or to build the structure. We have to look in after the economical aspect as well. As well as the longevity of the structure. But that building, any building cannot be rested on it. As far as I think, before, before rather to say without undergoing any ground improvement. Ground improvement is a subject which I may be covering in front of my future lectures. Up. Last but least, what you can say is insufficient investigation depth. Why? Because we have loose strata prevailing up to 16 meter from the natural ground level, which already consists of filled up soil as well as high water table. And if this strata, of remaining 4 meter, in the remaining 4 meter of available strata, we cannot suggest anything, even if we decide to go in for pile foundation. So, we need to have greater investigation depth in order to decide the kind of foundation if we have to decide for pile foundations only. Otherwise, the second best option is to first go in for ground improvement and then suggest the foundations, but that depends upon the readiness of the client, ki how much expenditure is he willing to do on that very particular site. So now my questions to all of you are, can you imagine the location of the site? Is it a densely populated area? Ya maha koi water body to nahi hai site pe Jo mein conclude kar raha tha, wo mera conclusion true sabit hua. Maine conclude kara in this investigation data ko dekh kar ke, in first instance, ki there must definitely be a river in the near vicinity. And the second one was, was I thought, ki might be there is a tala water pond in the near vicinity of the area. So I wish, I would ask all of my followers and the persons, the fresh young professionals who are watching my videos, to send me your ideas, suggestions, if building is to be built here at any cost. And how precarious the site can be, please judge. Now, 
to remove the mystery of this let me show you the google map of the site This is the Google map of the site. This yellow point, this yellow point is the site and you have a river flowing here and you have a very big water body. Water body, a pond. This site was around 1 kilometer away from this river and it was around 1 and a half to 2 kilometers from this water body. So dear friends, what I wish to tell you all is it's very important to take all your geotechnical investigation sites very seriously and then decide on the depth and the number of boreholes to be explored at the site and whilst recommending any kind of foundations for such critical sites you need to have a thorough investigation thorough field investigation, thorough and very serious laboratory testing and a very judicious decision with regards to what kind of foundations you wish to provide at that very particular site. Hope aap loon ko mera ye video pasand aya hoga and I request you all to kindly share and subscribe my videos. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.